Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 38. It is the 12th of March. So it's not, it's the 13th of March, I can't count. I should know this date. Friday the 13th. Uh, yeah, so Friday the 13th of March 2020. I am apparently Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, the half of Druid. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitlith Anastasia, a wood elf rogue. Hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half-elf monk. Hello. Right, what do you remember from last time we played? I remember we did a sound check at the beginning of last time. But we okay. did. But <laughs> <That's> I've, uh, <laughs> right. okay. I have all my levels working just now, which is okay. good. <laughs> uh, let's see what happened. Uh, I went to see Pretty Princess. Uh, there are some impersonations on the go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we got arrested. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Yeah, he's went to Horizon, um, wandered about a bit, did some spooking out of people at near a fountain, speaking infernal. He's got into the bureaucracy of Horizon a bit, <laughs> and then uh, impersonated Livian to a degree, <laughs> um, and then met the Prismatic Order. So, yeah, these were all arrested. Right. Goals. Goal one. Get word to get GGW. Out of jail. <laughs> yeah, no, right. Get out of jail. Get out of jail free. Uh, we've got get word to GGW about Gil. I'm assuming that's still going to be in place too? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Got to figure out how to close hell holes as a team safely. Still good with that, Sof? Yep. Uh, learn Infernal from Crumbar. Still a go, I'm assuming, even though we don't have a crumbar yet, he should be joining us soon. And, I would uh, hope so. Unless you want to change it, obviously. Uh, and then no. I want to be able to brag about that. No, definitely. As I said again, one good one good dice roll away. Um, lend our aid to the Citadel, Ari the Abyss. That's still on going. And figure out Eremos's location. That's what we've got. Any changes to be made? No. Not for yeah. me. Good, good, good. Well, when Scott joins, we'll ask him as well, just in case he's got any thoughts on it, uh, if need be, but we shall see. Good. Goals were easy. Right. Put myself back in the actual game. And search on 38 starts on the right date, which is good. So, these were all picked up by the Prismatic Order and taken off. Um magically. Uh, you were asked for your weapons. Did anyone resist that particular stage? Obviously, Stu, you might want to, considering they're your hands, but yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll give away my, my weapons again, for the same reason. I can, I can make fire with my hands. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. Yeah, same. Yeah, I was but say. I just smirk at the fact that when I obviously hand over all of my weapons, the person <laughs> carrying them just had like a, a thunk on the floor moment of, good lord, this bag is heavy. Yeah, it's just one of those <laughs> scenes of a, you know, like somebody pulling out the guns or whatever from their coat and it just keeps mm. going. And it's like, where did you keep all this? It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on a minute, daggers in the boots. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as well. yeah. Knuckle dusters in them for some reason as well, in the boots, no idea why. <laughs> Bye. I, guess. I probably handle the bow very, like, gently and whatever, and be like, yeah, they even take care of it, please. Like, they even take, like, Ruya and such from you. Um, carefully, of they course. They even take what, sorry? Ruya. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, Stu, I'm assuming you hand over all your uh, weapons besides your hands. I haven't actually <laughs> do got I, any I look a bit odd at them like that? <laughs> like, you, you do realise that Do you have a quarter staff? No, uh, well, did I not get rid of that? I thought I did, but might not. Maybe you did. I don't, uh, I don't remember. Quarter staff, quarter staff. Black pack, I no, I don't have anything. Oh well, all. just your fists. No. Yeah. To be fair, like you've got melee and range with those, so yeah. I guess it doesn't really matter. That's handy. Bracers of defense, they're not going to take them, are they? Uh, no, they've only taken weapons. Weapons, yeah. Yep, cool. they don't Sorted. Count weapons. Right. Yep, yep, yep. Um, yeah, it's almost like they've got, like, for example, like your stuff that you're wearing, 
they don't they've not taken your stuff off you either. Do you know what I mean? Like it's it is literally just the weapons. Um I'm just looking for the last page of notes, that's fine. GG thirty eight. Right, so these are all split up, right? Nobody is put into a a room with anyone else. And it is essentially a a room with a chair in it, that's it. Like a kind of wooden chair. And you you've been placed in there and you've been asked to wait, um to be questioned. Uh, what do you do in the room, if anything, or do you just wait out the time? So, like, let's start with you, Arya. So you've been put in this room. You've been told to wait. I'll just be very bored and probably like pace the room mm -hmm. a bit. Not, not very human looking like, but not transforming myself into a panther. But you, 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 you kind of know what's going on beneath the surface. I just like that phrasing. It's like, you know, a pacer, but like, not like a panda or a panther. Like, you know, just like a person. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, no, no. I, I, basically, what, what, I was, what I was implying is kind of like, no, I'm not obviously uh, um, wild okay, shaping into animal. it. <laughs> but, but you you can kind of like, you know, almost close your eyes and like almost see me there as a panther, not as a human, because it's quite like, the way they do when yeah, they're exactly, locked yeah. somewhere. You're acting like a caged animal, but you are not a caged animal. Yes. Gotcha. Um, I don't know. I think caged animals sometimes kind of makes me think that they would be aggressive. It's not aggressive. It's like impatience. This is too tiny of a space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Brrr, claustrophobic, like... right? Yeah. So, yeah, kind of, yeah. yeah. So, like, you're left for a good period of time. What about yourself, Kitlith? I'll have a nap. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's like, there's a chair in this, so yeah. I'm just going to, like, have a nap. <laughs> it's probably not the easiest thing to sleep on, but I like the idea that you're maybe, like, you turn it to face the other way, you lean over, like, the the back of it and just kind of kill mm. that way. Yeah? Yeah. Reach. Sit down next to the chair, cross-legged, and... Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> kind of just, like, made it that way. Yeah. And, yeah, as I said, these are all, like, completely separated some time passes. Anyone that's good at tracking time, it's been about maybe two hours, maybe. Um, give or take the fact that nobody wears a watch in this world. And sure. yeah, the the first person's reach, like somebody, somebody comes in. It's the, the woman that led the arrest. The one with the kind of like the blonde kind of bob and uh, the kind of rainbowish hair at the back. And she kind of walks in and she she says, I'm hoping, I hope I'm not disturbing you, as you're obviously sat kind of meditating. Uh, nope. Like, please follow me. And she like just opens the door and like walks out. Right. Stand up and start walking. Yeah, and actually, like, you're obviously in um, some kind of fairly kind of nice building. It's um, very intricate stone carvings and whatnot, and big fancy marble floor. And you're in like this kind of fairly busy corridor. With different people wandering around. Um, everybody looks kind of scholarly as well, and but nobody looks like an adventurer, if that makes sense. You know how you can tell the difference between somebody that clearly spends their time inside and somebody that actually needs to exist in a dangerous world full of horrible magical beasties. So, <laughs> or surrounded by nerds is what you're saying. Yeah, I think we call it the administration, and then um, <laughs> potato, potato. She starts walking down the corridor, and uh, she says, "Please follow me," and then. Uh, I assume you follow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And she kind of leads you into like, you could probably guess it was her office, um, but it's fairly Spartan inside. And she says, please have a seat. And it's obviously a much comfier looking seat, this one. And uh, she sits behind the desk. Sit down as well. Yeah. yeah. On the chair. On the seat. <laughs> on the desk. Um, <laughs> and she says, as I said when. You were detained. Uh, my name is Prisma. I am the head of the Prismatic Order. And do you know why you were detained? Nope. It appears you were impersonating one of the noble families. I was not. I was impersonating myself. <laughs> she raises an eyebrow at that. <laughs> 
has let me rephrase you're a group where and it says here that you have associations with the golden order which kind of like motions to like your robes yes of course yeah are you impersonating that too or is this fact that's also fact she smirks at that very briefly and she says do you know what's going on at the Citadel? Golden Citadel? No, I've been in a... I've been trying to get there. That's... Perhaps and... once this matter is resolved, I can help you get there. That would be appreciated. Do you know what I would appreciate? And she just smiles, that big kind of almost cheating grin that you can imagine. Yeah, I'm just smiling back. Yeah. <laughs> For a peaceful resolution to this disturbance. That's in my nature as well. She nods as if, I thought so. And then um, she says, can you tell me what happened? And she just kind of sits the parchment she's holding on the the desk and kind of leans back. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, yeah, I can, but... Uh, do, 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 do. Do, ra, ra, ra. <laughs> yeah, there's ways of ordering us in our spirit, uh, 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 We have instructions to represent the family. Uh, with the negotiations with Horizon. I can't remember the name of the family, by the way. Uh, Rainwood. Bad, Rainwood family. I mean, yes. it is bad, <laughs> yeah. One of our players is literally Lord Eric Greenwood. Yes. <laughs> uh, so we did our best to do so. I see. Why? Why have we been instructed to uh, act on their behalf? She kind of just shrugs and kind of motions for you to continue. Because they have uh, negotiations that they want to urgently, we continue urgently. Yes, but they're in a position at the moment where they find it hard to do those negotiations themselves. I see. Can you make a charisma saving throw for me? All of that's right, I would say, but yeah, but yeah. Well, it's, I'm not asking you to make a deception check, I'm asking you to make uh, a curve yeah, on the saving throw. I've clicked it, I'm just waiting to see, because it's not popped up here yet, is that? I've not got I'm it yet, there we go, ah. we got it, it's fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, and... Uh, not brilliant. But... It's, I mean, it's a check, it's fine. And yeah. I, she's just kind of looking at me, because... Are you sure this has nothing to do with your back channel to the princess we would love to have a back channel to the princess that would make the negotiations a lot easier I was led to believe that the Rainwood estate agreement was in fact your back channel because the princess had asked you to investigate the I believe they're known as hellhole disturbances across the land She's still leaning back noticed. all casually. <laughs> I have noticed, yeah, there is pretty dangerous places out in the land at the moment that's not usually there. But I don't exactly know what you mean by hell holes. Uh, so, at that point, you hear a tone in the room. She goes, there we go, there's your first lie. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you failed the check, sadly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, as you said, though, nothing was a specific lie up until that point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and here's me thinking this was going to be a peaceful resolution. Do you want to try again? She just stares Okay, we do know about the hell holes. Uh-huh. And she kind of, like, sits up a little bit and she goes, this is only going to be as difficult as you make it. Then you can be at the, the Golden Citadel in no time. We have seen uh, at least two hell holes. Uh, is it two? Yeah, two. Yeah, at I least two, yeah. Two hell holes. Yeah, that's... 
Yeah, you've kind of seen three, I guess, right? Because you've seen one that's they closed. Are, uh, oh, closed as well. I was debating the one with Magna. Into both of them, but yeah, it's technically it wasn't a hell hole, but yeah, but that's, yeah, okay, yeah, at least two. Uh, yeah. At least two's fine. Yeah. No, I need to ask you. And she kind of just motions a bit uncomfortably. Were you not travelling with Lord Rainwood? We were, yes. And that's yeah, the fact he's not with us now is why we had to take extreme uh, extreme methods to continue his work. She kind of just like kind of blankly stares for like maybe an uncomfortable 30 seconds. And she says. I guess this answers my next question then. But I'll ask it regardless. Please don't. I don't like that beep, but carry on. Do you know where the princess is? Oh no. We assumed she was here. That's why we... Yep, that is the current with her. public information. Yeah. We were thinking, oh, that's, I was... Th I was saying that she probably wasn't here after that, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Right. In that case, I hope she's at the Golden Citadel. She just takes a, like, a breath in and then kind of like doesn't say anything. And she says, I would appreciate it that you do not share this information given your close connection to our princess and her current whereabouts being unknown if your companion is also missing these could be related given how connected they were she just stares at you to see if you understand or not I feel just I understand. Oh, she kind of nods and she smiles. She looks the tiniest bit more relaxed as well. And she says, Good. Now I can assume you'll never impersonate a member of the Noble Houses again. You or your group. I will definitely never impersonate a Noble person again. I'll d actually scrub the word again. Right? I'll definitely <laughs> make a note. <laughs> uh, do I just do, do I just do your do I just do your intro now, please, Scott? <laughs> Hi, I am Scott. I was very tired today. Um, yo, I play Crumbar, who is a half heart paladin, and I am now here to play some games. Uh, if you could stop them anyway. While we're here, do you have anything you want to adjust about the goals before we move on? Only that I love you, Ryan. Thank you. I love you too, Scott. I'm glad we had this <laughs> precious Just to bring together. you up to date, by the way, remember you've just been uh, what, arrested. arrested. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm about to get set free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been... Uh, he's, uh, he's totally been uh, using a lot of uh, diplomacy to get our, uh, our asses out of uh, trouble. Oh, so at the minute, it's just his ass. Yeah. Yeah. So why, why did we get? Why did we, why did they arrest us anyway? Because I was impersonating a royal. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, a noble, but yeah. Noble, noble, noble that's one. Um, so, so currently, so Scott, what? just to catch up on the goals, before, so I can move back to Stu. We've got mm -hmm. get word to GGW at Gil. We've got to figure out how to close hellholes as a team safely. Learn infernal from you to Arya. Lend aid to the Citadel regarding the Abyss and figure out Aramos's location. Any adjustments you want to make before we...? No, no, that's good. Good, that was easy. Anyway, as we were saying, Stu. So, back in the scene. Yeah. So, um, to reset the picture just to catch Scott up, you have been taken from the detainee site outside the, the office of the princess. You've been taken into a room where there's just a wooden chair and you've been left in there to wait for about two hours. That's you. Um, on your own with nobody else and no weapons yeah all your weapons right. were taken off you as well my what yeah I mean 
Let me ask you this question now, okay? Let's derail the session now. Actually, think of wanna... the silver lining. Is, this is an axe you're not going to break. <laughs> yeah, no, but... Not if it gives it away, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but how am I meant to hit things? With your fists, like Stu does. Use your head. <gasps> <laughs> Use your head. Oh, Yay! Let's hit things. Where there's a tusk, there's a way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> session tile. Um, right, so, back in the office. So... She kind of look, looks at tiny bit more relieved at the fact that you obviously are slightly more because Please don't cause me any more trouble. You and your group. And she highlights group. She stresses the word. Right. She says, um, You're a member of the Golden Order. You have an image to maintain. And she just kind of smirks and kind of like motions at her own outfit yeah, as well. But, yeah, because obviously she's part of like an outfit as well, which is like yes, people expect things of us. Um, I can assume that you will notify me if you gain any information about the princess. Yes, you certainly can. She narrows her eyes at you. Yes. <laughs> I take it the princess is missing then. Yes. Well, we'll, we'll catch up if you ever get to meet each other again. And, uh, okay. Christo might just be like, everything's fine. Um, so yeah, she uh, she's like, who is eating those crisps in the corner? Um, but mostly it's Scott. And then, Magic crisps, because yeah. there's an empty room. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's not. And then she says, uh, I'm going to put you back in that room. I'm going to question your colleagues, and Damn then it. we will proceed from there. Thank you for your time. And then the door opens, and like some other member of the Prismatic Order, and their fancy Ouch. rainbow-colored robes appears, and uh, goes to escort you, and she just motions with her hand to them. Yeah, walk well, okay. As like as you're about to leave, she says, "If everything goes as smoothly with your companions, you will be at the Citadel by end of day, if it suits." Uh, we're going to any meta game, a uh, crumbar into this, otherwise yeah. we've got no chance. Here. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's fine. We're just going to see what crumbar does to the scene. It's going to be great. So, um, let's start with that then, because I think it's good to just throw him in here. Uh, crumbar. Right. So, yes. you you got to keep like your armor and stuff, right? Um, any things that weren't just clothingy type stuff was taken from you, though. Um, but you you weren't like taken out of your plate mill or anything, and. Uh, You've been left in this kind of room for about two hours. What did you do for two hours? I had a nap. <laughs> Good. I say just like, I assume on the floor as opposed to like sprawled over this mm. creaking wooden chair. <laughs> um, but yeah. Just to make it extra meta, you know. <laughs> yeah, the, the door, like you can hear the door unlock and open. And then in walks again this kind of, again, woman with the blonde kind of bobbed hair that's got all the rainbow colours at the back of it. And then she kind of just like walks in the room. And you, I'm assuming like, do you want to roll perception to see if you wake up to it or? Yeah, sure. Combar is out for the count. <laughs> yeah, so you feel like a hand kind of like shaking you awake. I just kind of grumpily like, just like ah, um, meh. And then, like, as I kind of eyes wake up, I'm like, if I, sorry, if I seen this woman before? Yeah, she's the person who arrested you. And I'll be like, and what is it this time? She's just kind of smiling at the fact that you were asleep in your plate mill. And then uh, you just clunk out that you've powered off. Like see through you, and uh, <laughs> yeah, yes. If you'll follow me, please. And she's like walks out of the room. I just kind of like, like watch her starting to walk away, and then just kind of like stagger to my feet and just kind of brush myself off, and then just go, like, am I alone in the room? Yeah. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. Um, yeah, so then I'll just have a wee stop and follow her then. 
Yeah, so you walk out in the corridor, big fancy stonework in this place, big marble floors and such. And then she just like, as I said, it's quite a busy corridor as well, full of different people going about different places. And then she walks off uh, down the corridor and she says, follow so, me. So there's no, yeah, so there's no real like attempt to like stop me running away or anything like that or... Nope, because when you were brought in, you were put into the room and she just says, wait here please. Alright. Yeah, sure, I'll follow her a bit. Yeah, so she motions up to like a door, she heads inside. I, it's like, again, this is more like an office that you see. And she sits down and motions to the seat across from her, which is a bit more comfy looking than your wooden chair. I just kind of like go over and just like, I'm like, oh, thank you. Go over and just flip into it. And uh, did you say flip into it? <laughs> no, no, just like, you know, you know Parkour. that way when it's... <laughs> uh, no, I just like walk over and just be like, clatter, boom, ah, seat. Can you make a charisma save as well? Let's just get this out of the way first. <laughs> charisma save? Yeah. Shouldn't be too bad for you, you've got pretty good charisma. Hey, I'll take that. And um, so she sits down and she says... Do you know why you were detained? I can't imagine that I do. Is it because I'm an orc? Like, her face doesn't even move when you say that. And then she says, <laughs> You and your colleagues were impersonating one of the noble families. Care to elaborate? Okay. Right. Well, only one of us were impersonating. Yes, it's the of us part I'm focusing on. <laughs> How did you know? She then uh, leans back and she says, I'm asking the questions at the moment. There will be time for your questions once I am done. Hmm. I just kind of like lean back in the chair and I'm like having a wee think and like picking up my teeth and stuff just being like hmm kind of wondering like what I actually want to tell her and I'm like uh -huh. <laughs> I'm like hmm. well we uh we have to had to see Justoria and uh, we're trying to do it in a low key way which wouldn't draw too much suspicion and then just kind of gesture towards her and be like clearly that didn't work so you admit that you are working in a covert nature with the princess Justoria Go. <laughs> it comes up in the the obviously the subtitles for those at home. It comes up in the subtitles <laughs> in sass. <laughs> <laughs> um. Say. Um. I try a few vials. <laughs> 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 Again, I'm just wondering how much I want to actually say to her that I... It was hard, I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, who knew, like, interrogations were difficult, right? <laughs> I know, right? It's like... <laughs> this is fun. Um, go... Don't do crimes, okay? <laughs> don't, don't, you won't don't do times. <laughs> don't, don't do a crime. Um, I'll just say it's like... My group and the princess have been working closely together, yes. I consider her a good friend. And, like, her face relaxes ever so slightly and she goes, Good, so do I. And I hope that we can share in that friendship. Then what do you need from me? I just need you to make sure that won't happen again. Mm. 
Well, no point in trying something like that again, but we need to speak to just uh, the princess. She sits back a bit in the chair and then kind of like uncomfortably shuffles a bit. And then she says, You impersonated Lady Rinwood, yet you were travelling with Lord Rinwood. Yes? That is correct, but how do you know how did you know that? Then why did you need to impersonate a Rainwood? Because that Rainwood didn't show up where we did. And why is that? Cause and and, and I just like you know that way I just kinda like confusion shrug and be like mm -hmm. portals? <laughs> She kind of just like she kind of just like nods, and her eyes are slightly narrow. At that as mm -hmm. if she's trying to like process everything that she's obviously she's trying to put together. And yeah, says, I'm, I'm just, I just I just basically kind of give her that look, like yeah, the, well I don't know, you know like shrug. Like, I yeah I don't know how to like I we did a portal and he wasn't there. I don't know how to, they work. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's actually a very good gif that summarizes say uh, this what happened with a. Uh, Eric and you guys. I mean, it's in general chat. It's <laughs> <laughs> maybe how Crumbar sees it. <laughs> Wait, bye. <laughs> Boom. Um, obviously, for the audience at home, if you want to see that's our highest level Patreon to get access to our Discord chat. And uh, moving on. So, she says, I guess this answers my next question. But I'll ask it regardless. Do you know where the Princess Justoria is? I got this kind of like confusion face. I'm like, we thought she was here. Cool. Where? Um. Yeah, I just thought. Yeah, my face is just like kind of crunkled up a wee bit and just being like, the, like, again, a bit confused. And I'm like, why did you ask me that when clearly we thought she was here kind of thing? Mm -hmm. And I would just say, I was like, we came here to see just uh, the princess. We Like, we assume she's here. And I would like that assumption to be maintained by the public. She just stares at you, hoping you understand what she means by that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You are a I... paladin of the Golden Citadel, yes? And she just, like, motions to your entire gold armour. Mm. You know that way I just kind of, like... Dragon faces uh... on it and shit like that, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know that way I just kind of, like, you know, like tap on my armor and just be like yep yeah like quite proud yeah yeah like mm. that i am and you're working with another paladin of the order yes and, and i just kind of kind of like kind of giggle i'm like i work with all, all the paladins but <laughs> you know and then i'm just like but yes i'm like uh, reach is helping in the uh our endeavours. Yes. Do you know the situation currently at the Citadel? Or are you out of the loop, as it were? It has been a wee, it has been a while since we've been to the Citadel, but I know that there has been activity in the... Is it the Abyss or the Breach? Uh, the Abyssal Breach is in the Abyss. Right, yeah. Um, I was just saying, like, yeah, in the abyss, and there has been um, a call for paladins to return. Yes, this is what I'm aware of. Also, will you be traveling there next, if released from this investigation?
Well, our plan was to go there after we spoke to the princess. However, I'm worried as to where she is now. She kind of just sits there, like in deep thought. She doesn't say anything. And it's probably encroaching uncomfortable silence levels of time at this point. Like, I'd love to drop a hint about a question I want answered that I never thought at the time, you know. But... I, I mean, that's, do you think, do you think Crumbar would think of it? There's like my question Quite to possibly. you. Possibly, yeah. Then go it for is. it, why not? Right, okay. When was she last no known? When was the location <laughs> last known? I was, literally... was with us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was literally just about to ask something similar. Yeah, like what t-shirt was she wearing? Was she wearing a baseball cap? Was it a bright colour? <laughs> like, uh... <laughs> I wonder if she had two wings and looked a bit demonish. Yeah. Or something like that. So, mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, two wings. Yeah, we also imprisoned this demon-looking thing. You know, that we found yeah. in her office. Yeah, it's very yeah. bizarre. She was wearing the crowd as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine. I just, I just kind of said, like, well. You know, just to kind of break the uncomfortable mm -hmm. silence that is coming about. We'll go. When was the princess last here? And she kind of like she did that thing where she like her hand is like underneath her chin that was kind of like balanced on it, and she kind of like turns back as if brought out of wherever the hell she was mentally, and she says, "We, the prismatic order." That is, do not track the princess's movements. However, she was in her palace within the last week. Not much information there, but okay, that could be the last yeah. time we saw her, basically. Um, she to us, but that's debatable. Yeah, because um, you'd have, like, it's been maybe, like, just for the timeline for you guys, it's aye. been maybe, like, th two or three weeks since you've seen her. Because remember, you just aye. left her in uh, the Valley of Savine, um, yeah. and then you just travelled on foot south to that other hellhole, like, the official second hellhole, and that's where you just met Magna, but you were expecting to meet her there, mm -hmm. and her leaving to go back to Horizon was her plan to recuperate, to be fully ready to go and deal with that other hellhole. That's what you know. So it has been about three weeks mm. for you guys, give or take. It was after that, right, yeah. Okay. So it's as if she's went back to Horizon. Obviously, maybe her and Prisma have nodded at each other in a hallway once, you know, within the last week. And then that's the last she's heard of her. Just for the timeline. But I, so she's sitting in there and she kind of like pulls out of her. The uncomfortable silence she answers your question about within the last week mm. and she says if released I can assume that you will contact me directly if you have any information pertaining to the princess how how do will I contact you if you're at the citadel you can get the citadel to get word to the prismatic order I could, um, I'm happy to work with you, um, but however, I would expect the same in return. She smiles in that kind of very polite, you know, professional manner. She says, mm. I am already working with you. I just kind of like, I just kind of grin, I'm like, well, I guess I'll need a name off you then. So she did introduce herself when she detained you, but yeah. <laughs> she like, Prisma. Yeah, so my name is Prisma. I am she really had head. to be the head of the Prismatic Order. <laughs> Indeed, I right. decided to follow her. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, so I thought, I thought this was just like some random... No, this is the head of the Order. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Um, this is like Let's Gil, say... right? This is like Gil's job if Gil was in charge of the magic police. He's just in charge of the magic fucking SWAT team. <laughs> right, okay. Um, well, let's just let's pretend I just remembered that. 
Cause... It's up to you. Like, do you like who who thinks they'd know about the Prismatic Order? Because they're quite a like not much in general is known about them. Like, the general public don't know about them that much. Um, they just know that if there's a big magic mess or if there's some kind of mm-hmm. evil wizard man running around, the Prismatic Order are the ones that are likely to deal with it. Um, so they're like the Ministry of Magic. In a way, yeah. Like uh, the way I would describe it is kind of like the magic secret police that aren't so secret, you know. Mm. But um, um, yeah, who thinks they're going to deny Gestapo? Yeah, I think that's, I think you just hit the nail on the head. Like we've probably heard of them, but it's mm-hmm. like the yeah. same way we we know who MI6 are and stuff. Uh, yeah, like you're aware of the Prismatic Order, but you don't know anyone in the organization, for example, that type of thing. Um, like. Justoria founded them, right? So she founded the order because she was put in charge of that by Magna the King, right? Because that's what mm. the princess is for. She's in charge of the magical defense of like not only Horizon but the realm, if you will. Um, because, you know, Magna wasn't allowed to just be every single job title in his kingdom like he wanted to be. Because it's his. So, <laughs> I, um, but yeah. Prisma definitely seems very well named for somebody in the Prismatic Order. Um, yeah, it's almost like she was created for the role. Almost, right? Almost. But yeah, so... Can... Yeah? What race is she? Yeah, do you want to give me a investigate? If you've been staring at her trying to work that out. Why are you not rolling? Give it every second or two. Like, go. Cool. Yeah. Stop no. talking. <laughs> <laughs> Just like spamming it. <laughs> Just going to see like 50 of them in a sec. One of them might be right. <laughs> I think only one. Oh. as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it did take a wee while to come through. It's yeah. bizarre. Can we just take the last one? No, because that's the one he meant. The other ones were just... <laughs> <laughs> no just testing to make sure it was working. The first one was a practice. <laughs> so, you're staring at her. And, I mean, probably human, right? <laughs> probably. Yeah, like, she doesn't have pointed ears, right? She doesn't have sharp teeth. Like, she doesn't have horns. She's like she kind of looks like Jodie Whittaker. Can be pinky looking as well. Like I said, like honestly, Jodie Whittaker is the best thing I could. Jodie Whittaker, Doctor Who. Yeah, like right, kind of looks okay. like her, but with like rainbow hair at the back. Right. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Not really. I'll just pop in her name, I guess, for that. Bye. Kind of blonde bob, and as I said, no, the back of it spikes out, kind of early 90s emo style with rainbow colours all over it. So she's literally like the poster child for the Prismatic Order. Um, so, um... Uh, you kind of, maybe you're thinking again, hmm, you're called Prisman. Hmm, Prismatic Order. Hmm. But you're looking at her and, yeah, she looks... See, I'm, I'm thinking... Uh... Just a second... That's, well, as you said, you were thinking, so... Like that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so... Um, mm-hmm. I'm just kind of... So, like... I'll get word to you if I cut... If, I have any contact with the princess, but um, do you have any leads on where she may be? And then uh, she kind of moves again, ever so slightly uncomfortable in the chair. And she just kind of like stares at you, and as if she's clearly taking you in in some way, merging you up. And she says, "Nothing." that I would be willing to wager just yet. Do you? Oh, I'm a gambling lass. <laughs> Nothing yet. All I know is the last location 
where we were meant to meet her uh, she didn't show where was this location what do you know of portal uh, hell portals and then she narrows her eyes a little bit and she says are you unwilling to disclose this location? Um, She's not no. saying it in like a threatening way or anything. She's just kind of saying it in a oh, generalized, right. like, you know, are you unwilling to share this? Because you've just totally segued out of that. <laughs> it's like, we're get. I, it's like, I'm getting to that. And she says, continue then. Well, what do you know of hell, uh, the helper that are been popping up over the land? Yes. I also know that you have been investigating them on behalf of the princess. Well, she was meant to meet us uh whereabouts was the last one again? I can't remember. You've got the... what's your background again? My background is... Outlander. Yeah, so see if you... it should be a feature on your background because it's pretty much like you can remember like locations and stuff like that so yeah, let me find your character sheet because it's actually a really useful thing to for you to have been asked that question. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. On your red text, it will be on somewhere, probably near the bottom. Red text. Yeah. I have red text. Oh right, that red text. Yeah, the red text. Where Wonder. Yeah. You have excellent memories of maps and geographic. Geography. And yeah. you can always recall. Uh, I'll do that. To have yeah. That yeah. So yeah, you can like literally point it. Like she has a map on her desk anyway. So if you wanted to point it out, you could. Oh right, here sure. I'll just point to the map and go like, uh, the last location we were meant to go to was uh, the last portal that we were meant to meet uh, the princess at was was here, and it's gonna be like, bump, finger on the map. Mm -hmm. um, um, do you mention the fact that there was like? dead land around it, or the dead giant with all of his toes intact, or the fact that Magna was there, and the thing was closed. Um, Anything like that, no? I'm gonna see what she says next. Oh, she's not saying anything, she's just kind of like looking at you. Because you're just kind of pointed. I'm like, she's yeah, waiting well, for you to get to the point after you says I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm like, well... That was the location where we were meant to last meet just the, uh, the princess. And I can assume you travelled here after she was elsewhere. Yes, we had an unfortunate run-in with Magna at um, she narrows her eyes and she says, you mean the king? I mean Magna. And then she stands up and like pushes her chair back and she says, the office of the prismatic order will have you respect the king. Well, sorry Ryan, you, kick, you cut out there mate. Please, said have you respect the king. Yeah. Why did it cut out when you were saying that specific words? It yeah. was like, do what's yeah. the king? <laughs> Respect mm. was the words, yes. Uh, she's like in entirely switched her entire tone and pace and whatnot. She's very much a case of mm. don't you dare blaspheme, as it were. No, just kind of go, well, we had an unfortunate run in with them, like Gret and Makita going, the king. 
So you're and saying the it, king was at this site. She points back on the map where you pointed. Yeah, he was there when we arrived. We waited a night, but Jostoria never showed. Sorry, the princess never showed. She kind of nods once as if, good, you're learning. Um, that's what we're worried about her, so we came here to see if she's uh, if she was still here, but clearly that was in, in vain. Perhaps not, because it let our paths cross. She sits back down at the seat. Mm. The thing is, though. Like, kind of what's going to Crumbar. Obviously, I'm not going to say this to, the, to her, but it's like... So, out of character. Yes, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> so, Crumbar is like, before I was like quite trusting of this person, being like, oh, cool, she wants to help us now. But after, like, she's just been like, you will respect the king. I'm like, fuck the king. <laughs> you know? Because I don't like that guy. Mm -hmm. So, I'm like, mm, how much can I trust her? Because... Mm -hmm. Who does she side more with? Because I really like Historia, but Magna can go fuck himself. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, if it came down to choosing, who would she choose? Mm, right. That's interesting. But yeah. So, she sits back down at the desk and she says... If we can establish a working relationship going forward, you require an audience with the princess, and if you are willing to give us information regarding your group's activities relating to the princess, anything that comes your way regarding her, her in any regard, essentially. Mm. She like waves her hand as if you get the point she's making and then she says I will make sure that if I get information or word of the princess I will make sure that she is aware you are looking for her urgently that would that would be very appreciated if you could also let um la Sorry, two seconds. Let me remember. If you could, all, um, if you could also make our names known to the receptionists here, so that we don't need to go, uh, we don't need to go to such extreme. length to try and yeah, we don't need to go to such extreme lengths to try and get an audience with the princess. That would also be great. She kind of like smirks that and says, yes, I think impersonating nobility is a bit beneath a paladin of the Golden Order. I would agree. I would don't intend to inform any lower rung of staff of your involvement as per the princess's request. And she just kind of stares a bit blankly at you. So how would you, if we were to return, how would you suggest that we seek an audience with her? Don't seek an audience with me. Right. We can do that then. Good. And you're going to cause no more trouble in Horizon. We won't be in Horizon much longer. That doesn't answer my question. No, we're not going to we're not going to cause trouble. Good. She motions towards the door and the door opens and another person from mm. the order comes in with their fancy robes to escort you out. I'll just go I guess we're done here then. Unless you have anything else you wish to add. Ah <sighs> 
I want to ask her about her name, but I'm like, <laughs> would, is it something? Do you want to grab a drink sometime, Prisma? I can ask you about your name, <laughs> your hair color. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's like, hmm, I, Scott wants to ask her about it, mm. but I'm like, would Crumbar? Mm -hmm. Why don't you just actually get to know her over the time of the game? And then ask her when it seems more appropriate, you know, like right before you run into the fucking abyssal breach with an army. Do I want to know now? <laughs> um, New goal. Why is she called the Prisma? And she works for the Prismatic Order. Why? <laughs> it's like, hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, it's almost like she was made for the role. And I think what I don't you're know, they're thinking, obviously, she goes. Is there anything else I can help you with today, Paladin? I'll leave it for just now. I'll go. No, thank you. Thank and you. And I'll just put out my hand to shake her hand. Yeah, and like she'll stand up and she'll like kind of tug on her, her robes so they all kind of sit in place properly. She'll put out her hand and she'll like, you know, she'll do that thing where she grabs you by the kind of wrist. Um, mm. And shake your hand, and as you can like firmly shake one, she'll say, "If you wish, travel to the Golden Citadel. That can be arranged by nightfall. I assume you'll be ready to depart by then." Just as soon as you give me my weapons back, I'll be ready to go. She just nods, and let's go of your arm. And then it's like, and I just, I like, turn to look at this person, and I'm like, I assume they're gonna, t they will take me to my where my belongings are. In time. And then they motion away and walk away down the corridor. There you go. Until next time, then. And follow, and just uh, yeah. follow the uh, said person. So, you head off. Right, right. Here. No. Right, yeah. out, of gate, out of character now. Uh -huh. The reason I'm wanting to ask her about her name and stuff is I'm like, right, blatantly obvious it's like she was made for the role. So I'm wondering if Eremos has a similar function, I guess, if he, like... There's two ways it could have happened, by the way. The prismatic order could be named after her. Uh, it's pure fluke. Or, mm. yeah, she was made for the role. Uh, magically made for the role. Yeah, like she's yeah. best friends with Astoria. She likes rainbow colours, and she's like, "Do you want to be here, my magic police?" And she goes, "Bitch, you knew it." <laughs> <laughs> or you know, maybe she changed her name. I'm mm -hmm. guessing that's yeah. not uncommon. Like a James theater. Bond type 007 thing. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, like I said, I'm just wondering <laughs> if it's if Eremos has any similar. You never know. Like it's maybe worth looking into. He says in the vaguest way possible because obviously anything I say can be looked into. So, but yeah, so like you, you got led off back to that room, um, and then, okay, you're woke up by somebody entering the room. So I do that thing where I don't actually move; I just like open one eye mm -hmm. slightly. And then again, it's Bisma. She says, "Can you follow me, please?" And she leaves the room. I just get up and follow. One fluid motion. Like, totally been awake all this time. Yeah. And then um, she uh, leads you back to, obviously, her office again. Same description. Not going to just loop myself on that. And uh, she motions to the seat for you to sit down on. I'll take a seat, I guess. And she says... You are... Kitlis Amastasia, is that correct? Yep. <laughs> is that your full name? Yep. And is that true? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was hoping there'd be more. Um, can you do <laughs> Kitlis it? Anastasia, daughter of the sun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or something like some really long. Stealer like... of bra braziers. <laughs> 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 Returner of statues. <laughs> 
kicker of books. <laughs> Breaker of promises because I was supposed to have gone on that date with the woman's <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Tamed by no man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can you give me a Christmas save, please? <laughs> oh. oh god, I need my glasses on. Uh, there we go. I like the idea that Kitty puts her glasses on for that. <laughs> Why, yes, I can. Back in my chair. <laughs> Everything's so far away. <laughs> and then. Um, yeah, so she sits there, and then, like you can see that like, she's moving a couple of pieces of parchment over to the other side of the desk, as you can. Uh, say that. And she says, I have very little to say beyond do not do that again. She just stares at you. I look innocent like, of course not. <laughs> Are you lying? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, she said do not do it again. Mm-hmm. That's not a will you do it again. And you said, of course not. Like, I won't do it again. So is that well, true or false? <laughs> I won't impersonate her again. <laughs> or, I'll bend the truth if I need to. Or anyone else, for that matter, she says, in the city of Horizon. Out with this city, I do not care who you impersonate. She just looks Fine at me. And she kind of nods. Unless... Princess Dostoria deems it necessary. Of course. If the princess gives you leave to impersonate whomever you wish within the city, I will respect that. As will you if that happens. Well, yeah. We're done. She motions to okay. the door. Okay. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> and she just goes back to like our paperwork and obviously there's somebody already at the door waiting to take you back. It's like, wow, that was quick. Yep. And, uh, are you? Still with us? Yep. So somebody comes to your room door, click, click, clank, opens, uh, in walks a fairly tall, skinny gentleman in the prismatic order robes, and he says, I am here to escort you to your companions. Oh, brilliant. Is it time for us to leave? And he kind of just like motions out of the door. Please follow me. Yeah, yeah, I, I was, I was already like. Yeah, you just, it's just because he doesn't respond, and then he, okay. he leads you to a room where all of you have been put in, and it's just a room with a bunch of like, well, I guess like wooden chests and stuff where your stuff's been stored. Oh, cool. Okay, I, I lovingly and gently pick up my bow and obviously, <laughs> and I'm, and after that, I turn to everybody. I'm like, so. What's going on? Are we leaving it? Are we done? And you're all in the one room now. I'd like to think my chest was either the same size as everyone else's, but like overflowing. (laughs) (laughs) Or like they've had to pull out the extra large chest (laughs) and everyone else is tiny in comparison. (laughs) Your chest is just made of chests. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. Oh, it's one of those like... um, yeah, basically like that game. <laughs> but oh, it's one of those ones where it's been enchanted to hold more than it is, and I'm just there, like, legs just sticking out because I'm halfway <laughs> in, sticking stuff out. It looks like a mimic's basically trying to eat me. No, I found it perfect. Mm-hmm. My God, there was a gif. There was a perfect gif. Oh, my God. There's a <laughs> cat in a treasure box. That is, yeah, that's me. Amazing. Um, but yeah, so you're all in this room. There's nobody, oh my else, God, in yes. room nobody else in this room with you guys. Cool. I'll, uh, I'll be like gathering up all my stuff and then be like, yeah, let's get out of this place. Sounds good to me. <laughs> so somebody here to show us where we're going because we have yeah, promised yeah, There's, us there's we just do. one door out. Right, close that one door. Yeah. Yep. And they... Uh... There is again another member of the order standing there saying, Are you as ready to depart? Everybody yeah. got everything, yeah, I think we're ready. Yep. Sent we need uh show us how to get uh show us to the harbour so that we may get to the citadel. I believe arrangements have been made for this. Are you ready to depart for the citadel now? I'm so, ready. I'm ready. 
Yeah. Who knows? Please follow me. I think a few walks. I think this is the. Well, maybe it's the session title, isn't it? Please follow me. Um, but yeah, they lead you through again a bunch of random corridors, places like a maze in here. Um, if you were trying to guess the shape of the building from the inside, it would be pretty impossible. Um, but they lead you to a fairly big kind of. I don't know how to describe it really, like altar hall, I guess, and you walk in and there's like a big kind of like marble circle in the centre of the room. It's all been engraved um, with intricate arcane symbols all around it, and the order man motions to you, so I said, please step within the circle. Stand in the circle. Yep. Mm -hmm. Arms by your side, feet apart. <laughs> Keep your hands, so cool. legs, and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Uh, <laughs> and then they activate the prison cell, and you're left there. And that's the campaign, guys. Uh, goodbye. Mm. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> so you all enter there, and then uh, he w walks over to like a kind of almost cabinet thing on the wall, opens it up, brings out a staff, walks in front of the uh, the circle, and just like jams the, the staff end into the, the circle. It ignites all the runes around it. And then all this kind of cyan fire burns right up around you all. And then by the time the fire clears, a uh, user in the desert looking at the massive dates to the Golden Citadel. Phew. That was quick. <laughs> So the Golden Citadel, did you say, or Burning Citadel? The Golden Citadel. <laughs> the golden Burning Citadel. Good. No, the cyan flames burnt up around you guys to the point where by the time yeah. the fire clears, you were there. Uh, yeah, the Golden you. Citadel. The Burning Citadel is a great idea, and I'm writing that down now. Because <laughs> <laughs> Bye. So you find yourself like almost like the, the heat of the the desert clings to you instantaneously as soon as the fire like, vanishes. And that kind of dry heat. So it gets hotter when the fire goes away. Yeah, right. <laughs> Strange. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Guess we're going heading in anyway. So yeah. Yep. Okay. Went to the Citadel. Yeah. yeah, it's heading. Um, there's a lot of people here in the Citadel. Good. Once you go inside the main gates. Not um, demons as people. That's good. <laughs> Not demons. <laughs> people. <laughs> Are they all paladins or no? They're like random villagers and like essentially it's like a massive refugee relocation by the looks of things. Yeah. So like mm. you walk past like like obviously because the Golden Citadel is like huge, right? Um, let me see if I can go bring the map back up for that. Let's see where is the Golden Citadel. I'll restore that. Move us over to there. Like, remember the place is big. Mm -hmm. Like you just head in the main gates, and like there are just people like lying over each other in the streets and whatnot. It's as if people are trying to just cram in any way they can. Um, obviously, there's Karen, the camel, and uh, <laughs> yeah, you just head in, I guess. Yeah, and uh, you're kind of like greeted by one of the paladins that obviously recognizes uh, the two of you at the front, and they say. More paladins? This is a good sight. Have you come to lend aid? Yes, we have. What is happening, mm. though? Were you not given orders? Nikkei okay, looks a bit confused. No. We've heard there was something happening, but we have not been given orders. It may be okay. worth you speaking to the commander. And he kind of like he's got like a kind of grave expression on his face. Um, I would make haste there. Any kind of motions, obviously, up to like the you know deeper in the the city state that is the Golden Citadel. And then he says, uh, "No." horses or camels to look after because he's like the guy that obviously like operates the gate and keeps all the mounts and whatnot 
No, we were uh, we came too quickly for that. You kind of gives you a look like I don't really know what that means, but okay. Because um, yeah. <laughs> the idea that you <laughs> you go too quickly is without a horse, what? Um, but he doesn't say anything, and then he uh, says, "I would speak with the commander if you can." Then um, are these more refugees and emotions to like the other two, even though they're kind of half in like golden armor? I don't think you don't wear anything gold, do you? Or do you? Um, I think you just wear your leather armor. Right? I think that he would just hoard it if it was gold. Yeah, I'd have already sold it. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. Because um... I know that Arya took a half plate. Thing. It says gold adored a studded leather. All right, okay, so you did. Right, so you are all in gold and order armor then. Um, oh, yeah. We big then, pimping. In that case, <laughs> I, I think he would say, are these new recruits for the paladins to both reach and crumber? Uh, what do you call them? Deputies? I don't, uh, what, yeah, like deputies. Yeah, I don't know. A deputy? Just a deputy, I guess. Yeah. Deputies, I guess. Yes. Good. We need all the help we can get. More as deputies. Yes. Oh, good. And uh, he goes back to his job, right? And tending the gate. Where'd you go inside? He's obviously within like the Golden Citadel now, so. Go to the head office thing there. Aye. Uh, yep. We know where that is. Yeah. Yeah, and you head all the way up there, and you get to that part where the quartermaster's kind of like place would be. Um, it used to be Broga's kind of like place where she would sit, um, but it's yeah. someday again you don't recognise um, another kind of paladin. And she says, um, "Can I help you?" And she like gets your attention, obviously. Actually, I'm curious where is Broga. Yeah, I mean, you, well, I mean, you left her in the abyss, so. Did we? Is that one of the ones? Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Uh, less said about that, yeah, the better. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Moving on swiftly. <laughs> Remember, there was like a team of like five paladins there was quite a lot of us, uh, and yeah. you two. Yeah, yeah there was yeah. there basically there were seven paladins because seven's a good number for paladins. Um, we lost half them straight away, though. Yep. <laughs> You all jumped in and they were like missing straight away. Yeah. Um, do we actually have names for all of them? We we do have names for them. I'm wondering if they were written down here. Uh, yep. Let's see. Yep, Broga. And she was the one that had the thing for your reach. But. Broga, Roga, Doga. <laughs> uh, they all did have names, but yeah. Sorry, carry on. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, did you... Right, okay. Uh, if we could see who's in command, we need an update on what's happening. Uh, I believe Commander Idanash was asked to not be disturbed. Do you have an appointment? Uh, we never have an appointment, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, also, it was a Arnold, Broga, Latana, and Celia that all went into the abyss with Gil and you two. Um, that was the seven paladins that went. Oh, by the way, is Gil been found? Oh. She says, "Haven't you heard?" And she kind of motions you over to like the desk. Instead this of this is why we need to meet the commander. No. So you haven't been given orders yet. Correct. She kind of looks at you and she just kind of like she goes to say something. She kind of thinks better about it, but then she she just says it anyway. She goes, "Where have you been?" Uh, one, two, three. Uh, by the way, the abysmal, what was it? Uh, abyssal breach. Uh, abyssal breach. The abyssal breach in the abyss. Is, are we going to breathe the, that to ABBA? <laughs> the ABBA. <laughs> ABBA are attacking. <laughs> <laughs> the dancing queen's gone missing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we've been uh, we've been closing three other breaches so far. Uh. There are other breaches, and she looks like she's just gone white. Uh, I'm hoping not. I'm hoping that was them all, but there might be more. Yes, I think it's best you maybe go ahead and speak to the commander. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea. And then, like, she just like <laughs> that, that, quickly moves from her desk and like runs that's towards the doors. And then that still hasn't answered what's happened with uh, Gil. 
No, but hopefully, yeah, we'll get that next. But, yeah, yeah, and she like she goes and pushes the big massive mm-hmm. like marble doors open, um, and she motions and goes, "Come on, come on, come on!" Like and waves you through quickly. <laughs> um, I assume you all head in. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, and this is you leading up to the inner doors towards the office where you broke your hammer before. Um, if you still remember we that. Sat down. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, like so he's all head up. Uh, but yeah, doors are obviously are sealed. Do you knock on the door or does Crumber smack it with his new axe? No. I bet him. <laughs> <laughs> no idea, but yeah. We'll all knock at the door. Yeah, and uh, again, it's like when you knock, uh, the door is open. Uh, and in there you can see, uh, again, Zedreka. Acting uh, commander Zedreka uh. Adanash. It's actually just a room full of random people that all call themselves Zedreka. <laughs> <laughs> I just see Zedreka and I just smile and I'm like, Zedreka! <laughs> but yes, anyway, the door's I'm... open and she like she looks up and she says, don't just stand there. Come in. And she sat at her desk and she does not look happy at all. Thank you. Come on. Go in. And she like just like does that thing where she's kinda of like looking up through her like slightly tilted down head as if Oh god. <laughs> this is gonna be a headache. And uh, the door's closed behind you all as soon as you all come in. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So you have returned. She yeah. just looks at you both. Oh, wow. It's the last time we met her on the way to the ABBA, yeah? No, it's on the way no. back. On the way back, right, cool. Because okay. you just right. teleported back and I went and spoke to the commander, who you thought was going to be Gil, and it wasn't. It was, was her. Was it, like, yeah. And she was like, where have you been? It's been, like, forever. <laughs> it's been weeks. Yeah, we got, like, stuck doing some stuff. No, I'm saying that was what happened last time. I, mm. At this point, she's just saying, so you have returned. Right. First of all, what is happening? Uh-huh. She just kind of sighs very loudly. And then she like goes into like a drawer, pulls out a big rolled up piece of parchment, puts it on the desk, unrolls it, puts heavy things at the corners. Probably gold ornaments, let's face it. And then... Mm-hmm. Everything's gold. She goes into like another drawer, pulls out little kind of things that obviously are like military markers and she puts the golden citadel on the map and then she puts like a dragon head on the map where the abyss is and she puts like an army marker at the abyss and she says this is our current situation every available paladin or so I thought and she just darts her eyes up to you guys and back down to the map has been placed at the edge of the abyss to stem the tide. I am assuming you have been out of the loop, I guess. Her accent vanished as well, don't ask me why. <laughs> That's how yes. serious that has gotten. That's, yeah, it's so serious the actor forgot the accent. <laughs> yes, and we've got some good news and bad news about that, but yeah. Carry on, please. And then she says, with demons pouring out of the abyss, I would hope you would have good news. Good news is, three other abysses are closed. Three in total, one, two, three, four. No, is it four other ones are closed in total, isn't it? Three. Well, the king got one, we got three, basically. You got two. No, two. Right, okay, damn. Right, okay. Yeah. Still. Better than what they are doing. It's because you went back to one that he's left. Yeah. yeah. That's why. You have visited four sites, but technically three sites, one twice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And she says, you are saying there are other breaches across the land. She We've, motions to the map as if uh, mark them. We are aware of three that have been near Horizon. Uh, yeah. Yeah, good uh, enough, no, yeah. Like Horizon, Horizon Axis. One near yeah. Glitter Hagen, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she kind of motions to the map, and then like puts a handful of a uh, like markers, like little kind of like basically just ornaments down on the map. Motions to you. 
Assuming you place sure. them on the map. Point I, point I, yeah, point them out, yeah. And you say these are closed? Yes. How? We needed help. Uh, so who doesn't? Yeah, did Princess get all of them, by the way? No, well, except for the king, but yeah. Mm, she got yeah. the other two. Yeah, aye. So, Princess helped us with those two, and that one, King Magma, managed. She just looks like the royals. Yeah, and don't try impersonate them, by the way, they're a bit of fear about it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so you have been rather busy. Yes. And what aid have you brought back? Uh, just us. We've sent other people this way, though. Uh, yeah, we have. Good point. Who was that? Who did we meet at Glare Hagen? Coasters. Um, I cannot remember. Do you mean the people you met up at Savine? The Valley of Savine? Uh, yeah, the the dwarf who could cook and so on. Well, the... And had the bag! We need to have an adventure in the <laughs> so, bag. There was Mo, if you believe his name. <laughs> the little gnome. There was and Larry. Kiel, like, gen like Commander General Kiel of the Dwarven Royal Army. And also Paladin. And then you had the Crusader Knight Sir Andromeda. So yeah, and she was the head of like yeah. Magna's army. Yeah, yeah, All right, okay. So basically, two people in charge of armies and a gnome <laughs> with a questionable backpack. I want to go into the backpack. Delicious backpack. <laughs> uh, remember, they were on so foot, though. Remember? Yeah, I'm hoping. Yeah, we met other people in the way, and they should. Technically, they should have made it because we've taken a bit of the long route than the quick route, so that's they should still be about here now. I think. I mean, on foot, yeah, they're miles behind. By the way, I don't know why you think they they would be here by now. Because we so, took three weeks, so getting away from them—that's what I was thinking. Uh, no, you waited a night. They travelled on foot. You walked towards one location. They said they were headed towards the uh, the citadel. You don't know how they were getting there, but. Uh, if they walked, you've walked the same distance one day behind for three weeks. So they'll still be like one day ahead at that point by the time you met Magna. Then you just, you just, you just waited a day on her. So they're another day ahead. And then you just used the hammer to get to Horizon. You just waited a day. And then you used the prismatic order to get to the Citadel. So they've okay. probably still got weeks of travel on foot. And they'll need to obviously circumvent the abyss. That's not a shortcut. Unless it's a life shortcut. <laughs> yeah. So now, like, logistically, no, they're probably quite a, maybe two weeks, three weeks away. <laughs> right, we have other people, but we took a shortcut, so they, they will probably be catching up on us. And she kind of like looks at you. Scott, what are you doing? Why am I hearing Windows noises? Because Windows keeps bloody popping me up with updates and stuff, I'm trying to make them... Try and up. dodge them, by the way, they're really bad at the moment. The trick yeah. would be just to ignore the update window. Yeah, um... Instead of closing it, because then it opens again. <laughs> yeah, because that's what I'm doing, I'm like, go away, and they're like, no, you want to do this? I'm like, no, don't go away. But anyway, so, Zedraka then replies and she says, I hope it's an army you're bringing. And she just kind of sits back in the chair. Kind of semi defeated. <laughs> There's a lot of people with lots of problems at the moment, so I doubt it's a full army. But that's what is happening. Uh, right, okay, so right, we've got lots of demons coming out of a flaming pit. Could do with some help fighting them. And she kind of just looks yeah. up and she's like, Any bold guy would really buy dye makeup, by the way. What do you mean? Uh, is this your red-robed man you spoke of at the abyss? Yes, we've seen him again since. I think when like you mention him, like you just see my face get angry. Have you 
encountered him since? At the, uh, at some of the other uh, hell holes, yes. She like sits up and she goes, and like as if continue. This is information. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, very good question. We <laughs> fought him, didn't we? But he disappeared, did he, or what? What happened with that? It was something. But... He teleported away because he was a pussy. <laughs> I mean, there's a we did try... thing. <laughs> Yeah, I did try to fight him, but he, he made his escape. So, out of character for everybody, the Red Road guy was at the first Direwood Hillhole, was it doing the ritual, seemed to yeah. start the thing, and then vanished after you tried to attack him. Then he was at the Savine Hellhole, and that was when he'd left chairs out for you all, and then... Obviously, you did attack him there because he stayed in the Fort Crumber and nearly killed everybody else. Um, yeah. And then vanished. Yeah. And then you just met him because he showed up at the orc camp, remember? Yeah, and that's where he became a. Like a weird second death. version of himself that yeah. wasn't even his final form motions. Yeah. And you were killing him and he took control of Crumber and whatnot. So. He's had a wee bit of exposure to him, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I'm happy telling her uh, is a drink of all of that. Right. And then I think uh, she says, and what of these orcs up north? They have been dealt with. She kind of looks Ex -orcs at you. orcs up north. <laughs> yeah, and she, kinda, she looks at you, Crumbar, like, quite sternly, and she says, while that might not have been easy for you, my intent was, what were they doing? They appear to be using the power of the hellholes to make themselves stronger. And she just like, does Hindi speak Elven here? Yes. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> The she, she'd hope so. <laughs> yeah. She just turns and she just says, "Fuck." An <laughs> elven. <laughs> I just sort of snicker, like, just. Yeah, and then she kind of like says that to the side, like she couldn't like hold it in, and then it's obviously got like a slight drow accent to it, or a a, a dark elf accent, I should say, to it, mm -hmm. and she says, um, "Demon." Infused orcs. She kind of looks at you all and then looks at Crumber again. They were not fun. No, definitely not an invite list for any parties I've been at. <laughs> Have you been attending many parties while we are in crisis? <laughs> not recently, <laughs> <funny enough. laughs> I, I, I just Weirdly, a dinner party, yeah. And then the house moved, and then... Yeah, well, <laughs> at the house party. Oh, yeah. don't, don't, don't mention the house. Um, but yeah, she's like, do I have to worry about this situation up north? Uh, we think it's dealt with. It's hard to say it's 100% dealt with. It's at least 90% dealt with. But <laughs> it would be worthwhile checking on it after. If there is an after... Work. She kind of like raises yeah. her eyebrows at you. That. <laughs> oh, so dramatic. What, do you say that to her? <laughs> no! <laughs> Definitely fucking, a glass half half slams you on the ground. <laughs> 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 I mean, keep in mind, she's like in charge of like, oh, I so don't let the demons just kill everybody on the planet, okay? <laughs> it's like, I sure no bother. Just, and can we count on your royal assistance? Uh. Uh, not many to win, but yeah, who cares about the secret police? But you've police? already told uh, her that, like... You, you... No, yeah, <laughs> point. Well, like I say, who cares about the secret police? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the royal assistance we have is, is missing, so no, we are in a bit of shtuck for closing this hellhole at the moment, We're closing abyss, unless you can contact Magma, but... The king the and the princess it. are missing. Well, the princess definitely is, we've not met the king. Well, again, deliberately. Aye, but deliberately, can I think? Oh, right. Uh, 
We have no ways of contacting the king urgently. She kind of just like she sits quiet for a bit. Um, and she says, So the princess is missing? Yes. And she, you can tell that she clearly has just thought the word fuck again. She <laughs> um, has that look on her face like, What the hell else is going to go wrong? You know? Everything. And she just like sighs very loudly. And she says, do we have any allies you have made we can count on? Uh, mention those ones that glitter Hagen there on the way. Uh, ah, you've mentioned the, the, the trio. Yeah, mentioned, Aye. But, yeah. but they're still on their way. Aye. No others. Yeah. And she kind of looks and goes, this is not the answer I wish to hear. She kind of nods at you. I have no, two options, off. and she like t she was going to talk over you even if you went to speak. Mm, and sorry. she says, "I have two options here. I send you to fight on the front lines with your." She kind of looks at the other two companions, or you go find me allies. Front lines sounds like a brilliant way to take XP up, you know. But, uh, <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I want to. <laughs> Let's go fight things! <laughs> Let's go fight things! Do, 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 do. <laughs> Your other option though is to go to the king's partner's place in the middle if we can, and then that gives us Eremos, possibly princess. And... I'm assuming you're out of character right now. Yeah, I'm at okay. the moment, yeah. <laughs> That's just thinking of that. Well, we're nowhere near ready to freaking storm the castle, so yeah, I'd... we could. How about knocking on the door and asking politely? Oh. Remember that no. thing you took from us? Can we have it back, please? <laughs> <laughs> Give us back our bastard! Me. Also, do you know where your daughter is? Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like as you just kind of like maybe look amongst yourselves, because maybe you've got that kind of maybe that thought shares between the group silently. Um, you know. Maybe we should use this as an opportunity to not have to go to the abyss again. Then I think as the that kind of moment as you all exchange looks, uh, she says, "The current paladins at the abyss are stemming the tide of the demons and also trying to punch their way to the commander." Gil, is that? Assuming he still lives, yes. I kind of feel like we owe it to Gil to kind of go save his ass. A little bit. Oh, absolutely. And then she says, ideally, to clear away to the commander, a dragon would help. She just looks at all of you. She says, do you want to go get me a dragon? Yeah, well. Yes. <laughs> There's only one place where we know there's dragons, by the way. It's not meant to be a good place to go. Maybe we, she knows where the Great Gold Worm is. And we have to do go you, and see Do him. you know where the Great Gold Worm is? Ask her. In character. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Zedraka. Uh, in character, I have asked. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the Great Gold Worm's location is unknown. And prayers go unanswered. You can see where why else? the mood is very solemn here. I would just kind of jump in and just be like, where would you have it? Where else would we find us a dragon that will help? She like takes a big breeze, like a breath in through her nose. And she kind of like stands up and she says, the red dragon. And then we take a break there. Because, yeah. of course I'm we do. I'm confused, but okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So she says, no. the, the colors are bad. And, the, and, the, and the colors are bad, metals are good. Are yeah. Good. Yeah, the red dragon is a bad guy. That's who we're trying to. That's and she does say the red, not our red. So that's a very specific. Because, you know, point. the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Mm -hmm. so no. Nope. The, the enemy of my enemy is my enemy. <laughs> Everyone is my enemy. Everyone's my enemy. <laughs> I might be my own worst enemy. 
That's true. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll catch well, everybody in ten minutes. Okay. See yeah. you at five yeah, past nine. Me. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.